Welcome to Living Life. May the Lord bless you as you walk together with him today. You are the salt of the earth and light of the world. And we hear uh, that phrase quite often. What comes to your mind when you hear that phrase? And Jesus is talking about you and me as uh, his people, his children. Uh, some think more about the light that you and I need to shine. But then many times uh, you need to be a salt and before you learn to shine. You know, for me, the phrase that comes after, if anyone loses saltiness, and then what good is it? And then you will be thrown out and people will trample upon you. That phrase continues to shock me. And today's passage is related to uh, you and me losing saltiness. And let's think about that together in today's reflection. Leviticus chapter 20, verses 22 through 27. Keep all my decrees and laws and follow them, so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. You must not live according to the customs of the nations I am going to drive out before you, because they did all these things, I abhorred them. But I said to you, you will possess their land, I will give it to you as an inheritance, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has set you apart from the nations. You must therefore make a distinction between clean and unclean animals, and between unclean and clean birds. Do not defile yourselves by any animal or bird or anything that moves along the ground, those that I have set apart as unclean for you. You are to be holy to me because I, the Lord, am holy, and I have set you apart from the nations to be my own. A man or woman who is a medium or spiritist among you must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their blood will be on their own heads. How can salt lose its saltiness? you probably heard in Palestine area, how many times they get salt uh, from uh, salt rock, you know, rock that has a lot of salt in it. If you pour water and then salt is dissolved, and then what remains uh, many times uh, is uh, uh, impure, uh, the, the area elements of the rock. And then they still call it salt because it had the salt, and they throw that out and trample on it. Well, here, uh, the losing saltiness and reflects to especially and God's people that are losing its uh, potency and then godliness, holiness uh, in their lives. If you and I lose Christ's uh, presence and then potency and influence, sometimes uh, we're not good for anything. And sometimes people uh, become critical, not just of us, but of church or of Christ when Christians do not live uh, with Christ and his uh, influence and then his presence in our lives. Here, we look at today's passage. It speaks about shocking thing that if God's people, especially in Israel, are not walking rightly with God, the land will vomit them. The land will push them out and then uh, throw up and then they will just uh, cast them out. Rather than being a blessing to the people that's around, and then they will be ridiculed and then and they will be thrown out. And that's what the scripture teaches today. How can you and I and continue to stay near to God so that we will be a blessing and to others. From this passage, there are a few things that we want to think together. And first one is this, verse 22, it says, keep all my decrees and laws and follow them so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. It's an important reminder. It's important that you and I live according to God's word. 
you know, what's the operating principle, guideline uh, with which that you live day by day. And we need to keep uh, near to the scripture and let God's word be our principle and then by which that you and I live. And I think that's so important. But also, there is another thing that's important in verse 23. You must not live according to uh, the customs of the nations. Uh, you should not imitate other people, and especially the world, and then that pulls you away from loving God and following His ways. And that's a very important thing. Now, let me ask you this question. Uh, who do you imitate? Who is your model? Who do you want to be like? And sometimes uh, people come to church, but then uh, after worship and after they do church things during the weekdays, they really want to be like somebody else, some other people that do not come to church or do not know God, do not uh, fear God. Sometimes it's because uh, they want to have a, a better pleasure, money, or the things that other people have that they uh, really want to have. Uh, you need to check and see what is it that you want to, you know, to have, uh, and what do you want to seek and then desire to have, and then who you want to be like. And that's an important thing that you need to keep in mind. And then verse 25 and down, it says, as a people that are called to be God's people, you and I need to learn to be separate and be different. And we need to learn to be different than how everybody else is doing. You need to learn to be different in the way how you spend your time, spend your money, spend your resources, how you learn to invest, do something that other people don't do because, but you do because God is telling you and requiring you of to do what other people that everybody does that you don't do because God says not to do. And you need to learn to be different. Even if people say, hey, you're a little different, you're weird. And no matter what people may say, learn to be different. So that you will not be so influenced by the world and people around you, but that you may be people and that will influence others with Christ's presence and with His grace, with his love and with his blessing. I hope you and I will become salty Christian that will shine his light and be a blessing. Lord Jesus, help us to become people that will influence others together with your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. This program is produced by the listeners of the audience. 